Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Random Robot Does Something Random. Today I'm going to be adding a cooling fan to a heat controller used for distilling or brewing. Tools you're going to need is a drill, a set of drill bits, a knife, a square, a hole saw uh, that's going to fit uh, the size of the fan, a Phillips screwdriver in this case, small adjustable wrench, pencil, and of course the 120 volt fan. And make sure when you buy it, it comes with a little uh, guard or screen. And I also got some blocking material I'm going to show you how to use later. So first I'm just going to take this apart and see if I can find where I can put this fan. So there's not much to it. So this is a variable voltage controller. It's uh, using a potentiometer and SCRs to alter the output voltage. So your wall power voltage coming through here is going to adjust the voltage coming out to your heating element. Now this thing gets very hot because all the current's going to flow through it. So my plan is to put a small cooling fan into the unit. Now, by looking at the inside here, um, I'm not showing very much space in order to put this inside. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to mount it on the outside of the box. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it here. Uh, it's overlapping the uh, controller itself and there's enough head space there so it's not directly touching it. So what I'm going to do is after I decide where I'm going to put it, I'm just going to use my square to make sure that the uh, fan is going to be installed square to the box. So I'm just going to draw a line there. Now I'm going to use my square to actually find the center of the actual fan. So I'm just going to adjust this down so that the tip of it is just at the center of the blades there. And that will mark the center for my drill. So I'm measuring from the line I drew and marking my center point from two directions. So now that I've marked the center, 
I'm going to use these little blocks. So I've got one here that's just going to fit up inside here. And I don't want to be pushing down onto the SCR controller directly, so I'm just going to use this board here. And my first job is, after I get that lined up, is to drill a small pilot hole. Uh, again, this is very brittle. We don't want to break it. So after I finish drilling the small pilot hole, I'm going to use my hole saw and very slowly cut through the plastic. Don't go fast, you'll melt the plastic and it'll get all gummy and sticky and will stick to your bit. So just take your time going slowly to get through the plastic. Now that the hole's been drilled, we have to make the holes for the actual bolts to go through. So I'll just use a bit which is a slightly larger than the bolts I have and I'll drill those through the plastic. just drilled one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a spacer I've just got another drill bit in my hand here I'm just going to shove that in the hole for now and that's going to hold it in place while I drill my second hole and once my second hole is complete I'm going to take one of the bolts and shove it through the hole and that'll hold it in place so that when I drill my remaining two holes it'll be perfectly lined up So I'm going to need to drill a hole for the two wires uh, that supply voltage to the fan. And I have to figure out first which direction the fan is rotating. I already suspect it, but it's better to test. So I just have a little patch cord here. And I'm just going to clip uh, the two wires into it and plug it in and see which way the fan is blowing.
So we can see that the fan is blowing out that direction. Now, with the cooling fan, I want the air to be blowing into the unit. Uh, you usually don't want to be sucking hot air past the fan. You'd rather the fan be on the cool side. So I'm going to face this in the downward position. And now I'm just going to have to mark out where I'm going to put a small hole for those two wires to go through. So I'm just going to use a couple of uh, the bolts to line it up. And I'll just mark it and drill a small hole for those wires. Again, I'll be placing the uh, piece of wood underneath uh, the plastic so I don't crack the plastic when I'm drilling through. feed the wires through the hole I just made and we'll line up the fan so if you see there's a raised edge to the grate that goes over the fan. Make sure the raised edge is up and we'll just install all the bolts mounting the fan to the unit.
So now that the fan's mounted, I'm going to put the wires as far away from the SCR controllers as possible. First, I'm just going to strip a little bit more off of them, being careful not to cut the wire too much. If you have a pair of wire strippers, use those. I'm just going to use a knife here to gently slide the insulation off. So if you see there's a black and white wire here coming from the plug, that's your 120 volts. You have your hot and your neutral wire. Now these black and white wires go to the switch here, but we're going to want to be on the other side of the switch. So there's going to be a yellow and red wire we're going to want to attach to. Now since those are clips there I can't directly attach them to the switch. So what I'm going to do is attach them to the plug assembly and the SCR controller. And I'm going to put that on the back side of the switch and the main plug in order to keep it away from the heat that's going to be generated by the SCR controller. So I'm just going to pair one up under the yellow wire on the plug. And I'm just going to pair the other one up on the red wire, making sure the little black wire is on top of the red wire because that's how the clamp works. So this SCR controller, basically it delays the firing angle um, of the SCR so that only a portion of the voltage gets out so the more resistance you add to the circuit uh, the controls part of the circuit the less voltage will come out so the less resistance more voltage and it gets exceptionally hot all the current flows through that little controller so keep the wires tucked far away from it as possible Now we'll just put everything back together and we'll give it a test.
So I'm just going to plug it in, turn the switch on. Ah, so I need to feel the fan is actually sucking air into the unit and blowing it out the sides. And that should help with the overheating of this unit. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me today on the Random Robot Does Something Random, and hopefully you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe.